Uh, very nice story here. Let's go over to uh, Maria and Lisa with a young guy who will soon be at a very high altitude. Thank you. What a cliffhanger, though. Yeah. We're like waiting to see what's happening. Tyler Armstrong is here with Dad. He is nine years old. He's incredible. He is a mountain climber. And uh, in just a couple of weeks, he's hoping to set a new record by climbing to the top of Argentina's Mount Aconcagua, which is the tallest mountain in the uh, what is it the Western and Southern Hemispheres, correct? And so this is insane. We have Kevin, Daddy. Thank you for being here with us. And Tyler, Tyler, how do you even start to train for something like this? Well, I have my own personal trainer, and I do a workout every day, and then I have soccer, and then I go hiking. Okay. And when did you start mountain climbing? I started when I was seven years old. Seven, seven years, years old, <laughs> and now you're nine. It's been a couple of years of training and practice. Now, yes. you, you do this because you're trying to raise money for boys who are your same age who might not be able to do something like this for sure. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, I'm raising awareness for Duchenne. It's a muscular dystrophy that only affects boys. It's when their muscles don't grow back after they, like, either when they use their muscles, mm -hmm. it, don't, it doesn't grow back. Uh -huh. And then they just, by the age of 12, they just can't walk. Oh, my goodness. What made you want to do that for uh, this cause? The thing that made me want to do it because I could walk, but they can't, so I'm, like, using my muscles for them. That's so, incredible. I know we have some video of you doing uh, your climb. I think this was last year's climb. Can you tell us a little bit about this? I mean, look at you. All bundled up. Where yeah. we, this was, was this Kilimanjaro? This was Mount Whitney. Mount Whitney, Mount okay. Whitney. Tell us about that. I mean, and, and Dad, you chime in too. Are you ever nervous about putting your son in these types of positions because he's much younger than most people would be obviously. He is but he's he's done all the training that you know one could ask. He's taken mountaineering classes, ice climbing classes so he's done all the things that to show that he can do it safely so um, you know I let him do it. Does this run in the family? No I was just I hiked when I was younger but he's taken me to all new levels. I've never done anything like this so we you know we hire professionals to go with us so that we make sure he's safe. So yeah. you're leaving for Argentina next week and what's a little tricky about this this is they've never let anyone his age climb. So what do you ha you have to jump through some hoops here, right? The, the age restriction is 14 to be able to climb the mountain. So we've uh, we've hired some attorneys and we're going to go through the legal process and try to and to get them the permits to, How, to be able it's to climb. for such a good cause. Yes. How confident are you that you'll be able to make this happen? Pretty good. The the attorneys we've hired have helped other kids that have wanted to climb the mountain. So we're um, we're using the same ones and they're pretty confident based on Tyler's abilities that he'll get the permit. And what if you do it, you'll be the, the youngest yes. ever to do it. Wow. What do the kids at school think about all of this? They're like, wow, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to take off a little bit of time from school, right? How long will you be gone? I'll be gone for a month, but I'll have, take off two weeks of school. Two weeks two of school, weeks. so you'll bring your homework with you, be studying on the plane, and just hiking a mountain. No big deal. Yes. <laughs> and your top with Tyler is the website that, and you guys are trying to raise, your goal is what, $10,000? Yes, we'd like to raise, we'd love to raise even more. At least $10,000 is our goal to, for Cure Duchenne. It's the, the organization, the nonprofit organization that helps um, research for, for this disease. Wow. And last year, how much did you raise last year? We raised about $12,000 last year With for last when he climbed Kilimanjaro. Oh. Now, is the whole family going to go? Because the whole family's here today. You know, Mama's over there. Mom's and little there, brother. Little brother. Who's, who's making the trip? Just Tyler and I. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, the, you know the little one's got school. Dylan's got school as well. So um, and so they're going to stay I want Mama here. to come because I want to know you two are going to be there. But I want to know how Mama is feeling about having her two men in What's her the life. feeling when heading, he's up climbing yeah. this mountain? You must be. Very nervous. That's crazy. We'll get Mama over here in just a second. You know, I think she was nervous the first time we started doing this, but I think now she's not uh, as nervous just because Hi, Tyler's Mom. done all the classes. But are, are you nervous when you, when your boys are gone like this? Oh, of course, I'm nervous. What makes me the most nervous is just not knowing exactly what's happening. I know where they are, but I don't know moment to moment what's happening. Right. So I do worry while they're gone, but Tyler has really shown that he's practiced, he trains all the time, he's enthusiastic about it, and I know that his dad keeps him safe and they would never make the wrong choice. Are you able to check in while you're climbing? Do you have cell phones and that kind of stuff? Well, we're trying to get a cell phone so we can connect back to uh, here. Okay. That would make mom feel that a lot better. That would make mom feel a lot better. A lot better to know that 
you're, 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 that you're going great. So if you make this happen and you get this goal, which we know you will because we can just tell from talking to you, what is the next goal after this? I want to do Mount McKinley, but we just don't have the money to do it. So you're going to try and raise more money for yes. it. Th yes. These climbs are expensive, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's it, it, you know for him to get all the gear because he grows so fast. Everything he just he grows out right. of gear every six months. So. Right. You know, and it's, it's expensive. So we hired professionals because I want to make sure that he can do it safely. Well, good for you. Oh, thank Love you. Love your spirit. Yeah. You're doing this all for such a great cause. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You guys must be so happy. Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Talk with Tyler is uh, the website, but you can go to our website, myfoxla.com, and we'll link you over to Tyler's website. And we want to check in with you. So when you guys get done, will you come back and visit us? Yeah. Bring your pictures and all of that. We'd love sure. To. And all are right. you next? Are you are you going to do this someday? Maybe, okay. Maybe. <laughs> He's got some hammy down. Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you guys Thanks. so much. Coming up in a little bit. Uh, a bunch of dirty bags. Oh, exactly. dirty bags. Dirty bags. You got it. Okay. You got it. All right. All right then. Okay, you guys. Good luck, good luck. Uh, <laughs> All right, you going shopping today? You're staying away from my.